The meatball. Protein glow. Meatball. Carne bubbles. The meatball. From scratch. In Italy, we actually don't eat huge meatballs. I've seen them here where they're like the size of my head. They're small balls. Polpette. Italians have big balls, but they eat small meatballs. So I'm gonna show you how to make those with spaghetti in half an hour. Somebody touch my spaghetti! First, we're gonna make the sauce. I'm gonna make it all here so you can see what I'm doing. This is like 26 ounces of pomi. Uh, you can use any type of tomato sauce. So I'm gonna put all of that in the pot. In the pot? A quarter cup of honey. I know, you're thinking, honey? What? Yeah, well, a lot of sauces actually have sugar in them. I don't always use a sweetener for sauces, but I know my family likes it a little bit on the sweeter side, so add this quarter cup of honey for them. I have three crushed garlic cloves. I'm not gonna use them all in the sauce because I'm gonna use them for the uh, meatballs. So I'm gonna do eh, like half a teaspoon, half a cup of olive oil. I am gonna put in a full cup of red wine. Salt is per your taste, so I'm gonna put in like three big pinches of salt. Here's one, two, and three. The last thing I'm gonna put in is this dry Italian seasoning mix. It's got oregano, basil, how much of this? I can eyeball it, but I'm gonna say a quarter of a cup. You're gonna mix this all together and you're gonna put it on your stove at about medium heat. So now we're gonna make the meatballs. The meatball! We're gonna roll them into small balls, not very big ones. So in here, I have a mixture of ground pork and ground beef, 16 ounces each. So I have these ready in the bowl. Add the rest of the garlic. Remember, there were three garlic cloves all together. We used half a teaspoon in the sauce. Add tomato paste. This is a six ounce can. And we're also going to add a cup of breadcrumbs. These are gluten-free Italian-style breadcrumbs. Two egg whites, okay? There we go. So I'm gonna add the salt. How much salt? Per your taste. Here's one, two, and three. I'm going to add some red pepper. You know you're old school when your mom gives you red pepper in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> add the spicy red pepper. It's not gonna make it super spicy, but it's gonna add some kick to it. So now you're gonna get your hands dirty. I'm gonna take off my rings, cause ew. And you're going to massage this meat. You're gonna massage your meat. So tell me, how's your day been? How's that new girlfriend of yours? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this too rough? How big are these meatballs gonna be? This is as big as the meatball as I'm going to make. So my mother has a saying, you should never wear earrings bigger than your head and you should never make meatballs bigger than your husband's. <laughs> We're rolling the meatballs. Did you know that meatballs are actually balls of meat? Who named these things? Hey, you know, I roll the meat into a ball. We call it the meatball. That's pretty lazy, dude. You could have come up with a better name. Balls of joy, protein globe, juicy spheres. I just came up with like 17 better names. Meatball guy. Meat globe, see, there's Italy, there's America. And notice it's round, not flat. You can't make a flat meatball. There's already flat meat, it's called bacon. Duh. So I'm done making my meat balloons, and since I'm not feeding six to eight people, I'm going to put this aside. This recipe feeds a small army, that's just the Italian way. Your two people, they're gonna cook for 20. So for all you history buffs out there, you do know that at one point Buddha was like, mmm, meatballs. And if Buddha likes it, well, you know. Okay, remember we have the sauce um, on the stove. You're gonna put the meatballs directly into the sauce. We are going to let them cook directly into the sauce for 15 minutes and they'll be ready. What are you gonna do during those 15 minutes, you're asking? Okay, we're going to make the spaghetti. So I'm just gonna get some water to boil, throw those in for 11 minutes so that they come out al dente. What are you gonna do while you're waiting for the spaghetti to be done and for the sauce to be done? Okay, so our spaghetti is ready and our carne bubbles are also ready. Look at these big, beautiful balls. I mean, come on, meaty, juicy. So we are going to add the meatballs to the spaghetti. So I'm just gonna add it on top, okay? So just an FYI, these balls are still a bit bigger 
than your typical Italian meatball. How's been? We're gonna put one more meatball right here, some cheese. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. So there you have it. Look at this beautiful bowl of spaghetti and meatballs. And that's it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you make it for your family or for yourself, and I hope they love it. Buon appetito, mangia. Mwah.